Hello everyone, Earn the Worm here, and today I'm going to be having a look at the new God of War 3 NECA figure. And this figure is absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to get this out of packaging. He has a lot of cool accessories, and I just cannot believe that they sell this figure for $25. This is a $100 figure. So if you're a fan of God of War or Kratos at all, then go pick up this figure. I've seen Toys R Us has it online. They may have it in stores. I ain't even got it out of packaging yet, and I'm in love. The packaging alone is just awesome. You got this nice picture here. Window packaging here so you can have a look at the figure before you buy it. There's the actual front of the box. The side with the big God of War logo. It's the same on the top. Then you have some artwork on the back that's really awesome. Some more artwork on this side. I'm dying to get him out of packaging so we can have a closer look at him. So Kratos refuses to ride on the turntable, so we'll go ahead and have a look at his accessories. First you have this second head sculpt here with the closed mouth. The one that comes on him in packaging is a more grimacing look. Very nicely done on that head sculpt. I just think it looks great. Next you have this forearm guard that he actually has a slot on his forearm this pops into. And it's very flexible. And he has his two blades of Athena. These are really nice looking. These just look awesome. They got the chains on them. And these are a flexible material. They don't look like it. They look like they'd be a harder material. But they are actually very flexible. Next you have two of the Nemean Cestus gauntlets. And these were used for some serious melee combat. And these things themselves just look incredible. The paint and the sculpt on them is just immaculate. They look so cool. They're kind of heavy, so I don't know how well he'll stand with these on his arms. He has a chain sheath on his back for the Blades of Athena to go in. But if you don't want that on his back, he actually comes with two pegs to put in the peg holes where that sheath is. But I'm probably going to leave the sheath on him. And Kratos is a pretty good sized figure. He almost stands at 8 inches tall. He's about 7 and 3 quarter inches tall. Now on to the Kratos figure itself. This thing is absolutely amazing. I love it so much. I think it just, they did such a great job on this. And for the price point of this figure... I mean, I think they undersold themselves. I'm not complaining. I mean, I'm glad you can pick it up for 25 bucks. His clothing just looks so incredible. Look at all those little rivet holes. There's actually holes in there. The chains on his arms look amazing. The infamous Kratos paint on his head, down his back and arms looks amazing. Got a little blood on his shoulder. There's that grimacing head sculpt. Really nice. And they just did an incredible job on this. And these are the Boots of Hermes. And they look great. Like all these little individual feathers. Those wrapped shin guards look great. On his abs here, he's got some stitches up him. Same as his, on his face. Some stitches down through there. And on articulation on this Kratos, his head is on a peg. And you can look around any way you want. It don't go up a whole lot. And it goes down pretty decent. The shoulders are on a ball peg and disc. So they will go out. And they will go 360 degrees around. He has that upper bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow. And the wrist is on a peg and a disc. He does have ab crunch. He can go back. And he can go forward a pretty good bit. And then he has a swivel at the waist, and his legs are on a ball peg. They'll go out, forward. They do rotate at that upper thigh. Nice double-jointed knee, and he got some ankle pivot. The boots of Hermes getting away a little bit on that ankle articulation. And he has toe articulation, which you can't even tell it because it's underneath of those wraps on the feet. Man, this figure, this figure looks better than he did in the game. 
But now I'm going to get some poses out of him and switch out some of those parts. <laughs> So that's my review of the new NECA God of War 3 figure. If you ask me, it don't get much better than that for $25. That is all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to keep up with videos. Thank you guys so much. Bye. Really nicely done on this head. <laughs>